Hey, what's good, YouTube? Cool Dry here. I want to talk about when a man wants a woman. When a man wants a woman. And you know, the reason why I'm doing the video is because I had a coach a friend of mine this past week. And uh, she wanted to know, was this man serious or was he playing games? And I also received two emails from one of my from two of my subscribers. And they also wanted to know the same thing. So I just felt led to do this video to teach y'all from a man's perspective how to know when a man really wants you. Listen, ladies, when a man really wants a woman, number one, you are going to know it. You're going to know it because he's going to tell you and he's going to show you with actions. Understand it right here. When a man wants you, number one, you're not even going to... You're not even going to have to, we try to coach Rod, because you're going you to know this man wants you. You got to understand that right there. Men go out to what they want, point blank, period. You understand me? We go out to what we want. So when a man wants you, you are going to know it. You are going to know it. And when he wants you, he, he number one, he's going to pursue you. He's going to be doing the pursuing. Now. That doesn't mean every man pursuing you is the man for you. He is the right man. Some men may pursue you with the wrong intention. But that's where you come in at. Like I tell you, you got to have your guards up like they're right here. And that doesn't mean be stiff neck and no, don't trust nobody. Yeah, trust them. But you got to have boundaries. It just doesn't mean you got boundaries. And that you're not going to let anybody just come in your life easily. You know, come in your life and just get in your heart and you fall you fall in love for a week, two weeks. Nah. You understand me? So yeah, set your boundaries and all that. But when that man really wants you, you are gonna know it. Trust me, you are gonna know it. He's gonna pursue you. And, and, and when he pursue you, he's gonna be saying, telling you, and he's gonna be showing you. Alright? The next thing, when a man wants a woman, he's going to be consistent. A lot of men start off good. They start off pursuing. They start off calling. They start off texting, doing all those things, late night talks, this and that and the other. They, they, they can do it for a while. But when they have the wrong intention, when they just want to hit it and quit it, when they, when they want somebody else and just want to have you as a side chick and all that, trust me, they're going to start being inconsistent. And whenever man is inconsistent, he don't want you. He don't want you. Whenever he, he tells you, he used to call you every morning. Six o'clock in the morning when he first wake up. And all of a sudden, he don't call you no more. See, you got to pitch into a man pattern. You got to get to pitch into his pattern. Now he don't call you no more. And he'll, and he'll call you six o'clock. Monday morning. Hey, how you doing, baby? Yeah, I'm doing good, blah, blah. Y'all talk a little bit. I'm going to call you later on in the afternoon. Later on in the afternoon come. I'm going to call you about three something, five something, and I get out. Five something come, he don't call. The next day, he ain't call you now. The next day come, the next morning, he didn't call He didn't call you at 6 o'clock. He called you Monday morning at 6 o'clock, right? He told you he going to call you back later on when he get up at 5. 5 came, no call. Tuesday morning, 6 o'clock, no call. Tuesday afternoon, he off, no call. Then you got to call him like, hey, what's going on? That is inconsistency. I don't care if he paying for all the dates. I don't care if if, if, he, if he whining and dining you. I don't care if, if he buy, spend a lot of money on you. He, he may treat you like a queen as far as money-wise. He might pay a bill, or whatever. I, I don't care nothing about none of that stuff. Whenever you see inconsistency, there's a sign right there that he got somebody else. It's somebody else, and that's why he not calling and answering the phone because he can't entertain two people at the same time. So he trying to hide you from the other girl. So that's why he can't answer the phone because he on the phone or spending time or either he at her place. Spend the time with her. And then he'll tell you, yeah, I want to, I want to, you know, a relationship. Yeah, I'm willing to wait till we get married. Yeah. 
He just playing game with you because he really over here getting this girl over here. Because the other girl over here, she giving her her body. So he hitting that. And then when you call him, he in the bed with her. That's why he can't answer the phone. Whenever man is inconsistent, that man does not want you. Something is wrong. You understand me? Something is wrong. When a man wants a woman, he is not going to be inconsistent. He's going to be consistent. He's going to pursue you. And then he's going to be consistent. Another thing, number three, when a man wants a woman, he does not make no excuses. Some of y'all with these men, and they, and they, all they do is make an excuse. I think an excuse. I think an excuse. I think an excuse. You've been pouring into this man, loving this man, trying to show this man you're a good woman, trying to show this man you're a writer. Nobody ain't going to ride for you like me. You're trying to show this man how loyal, how faithful you are. And this man sitting right here giving you an excuse about, Ma, I love you, but my past. I love you, but my daddy did this. My mama did this. I love you, but my ex, my baby mama. I can't let her go. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know what it is. I can't get out my spirit. Uh, I love you, but I've been hurting my past. And, 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 and I can't move forward right now. And you've been pointing this to this man. And some of y'all been giving this man sex, giving this man your body, treating this man like a king. You've been nurturing this man, and all this man do is giving you excuses. Girl, that man does not want you. He do not want you. When a man wants a woman, he make no excuses. Oh, I need to heal. Listen, ladies. Let me tell y'all something about us men. Men are not like y'all women. When y'all hurt, y'all got to heal. Y'all need closure. Y'all need time to, to, to analyze the relationship. Y'all need... That's why it takes women in more cases more longer to move on faster than the men. That's why men... When we break up with somebody, we can be in a relationship with somebody else next week or before the week out. Some men, before the even week even out. Because why? We don't really need closure. That closure stuff, how a man heal is about moving on with another woman. Now, that doesn't make it right. But that is how men operate. How we heal by moving on with another woman. We don't heal by sitting there dwelling on my ex and all that here. So when the man tell you all these excuses about his ex and he love you but he been hurt so many times before and he he can't trust women, girl, he playing game. Sus, he playing game. Let me tell you a secret about us men. I'm going to tell you a secret about us men. Listen to me. This is how we are as men. A man know the first time he lays eyes on you whether or not he want to be with you or he just want to smash you. Uh, hit it and quit it, whatever you want to call it, friend with benefit, or uh, he want to make you, you you wifey. He know the first time he see you. Let me tell you a secret about us men. We can be at the gym with our homeboy, and we see women walking in there. We single men, we bachelors. And let me tell you something about a man. When a man is a single man, and he a bachelor, and he want a wife, everywhere he go, his eyes is open. He is looking for his wife. When he go to the gym, he looking for his wife. When he go to work, he looking for his wife. When he go out to lunch, he looking for a wife. When he go to Barnes and Nobles or whatever he going, he are looking for his wife. Trust me, trust me. So when he see the woman of his dreams, he could be with the homeboys at the gym working out, and women walk by, he'd be like, "Nah, nah, they ain't. I won't do that." Now a grown boy, a no good man, be like, "I just hit it and quit it, dog. I just hit that, dog." Uh, you know, but a real man, a grown man, a mature man, a godly man, if you not his type, he'll say, nah, she ain't the one. And another girl about, she look all right. She all right. She not bad, but nah. But when a woman of his dream walk by, when a woman of his dream that he really like walk by to make him say, ooh, God, hey, dog, look, dog, look at that, look. I wife that he'll tell his friend right in front of their face. I wife that right there. I make her my wife. 
Men know the first time they see you, what they're going to do with you. If they're going to make you their wife, or they're going to hit it and quit it, or they're going to use you, or play games on you. Men know. That's why these men be getting mad at me, because I'm giving away all the secrets. Men know. We know. It don't take a man no five years, four, ten years, six years to know whether or not he want to be with you, he want to marry you. Come on. Men know the first time he see you. If you are the woman of his dreams. If you the woman that make him go, oh my God, she is so gorgeous. Ooh, dog, she pretty. He'll tell his friend. And his friend might be like, man, you feel, you you, you want to get married? Man, you saw, man, you a simp, dog. You saw, you trying to get married. He'll tell his friend, listen, y'all can say what y'all want to say. That's my wife. Man, you saw, dog. What? That's my wife. Get out of here with that. When a man wants a woman, he'll tell his mama. That's my wife. See, when you got to fight with a man by the mama, his mama controlling him, his mama controlling the relationship, he ain't the one. He ain't the one. Because when a man want a woman, he say, mama, that's my girl. That's my wife. I'm going to marry that woman there. You got to, you might not like her, but you got to respect her. That's the one I'm going to be with. He'll put, his mama in, he'll put his mama in her place. And he won't be rude like cousin mama out. But he'll let the mama know. He'll put her foot down. Say, mom. You might not like her, but that's the one I want to be with. You understand me? If you are the woman in his dream, trust me. Trust me. He will put his mama in, in her place about you. And if he have to, he'll cut the mama off. If he have to, he'll cut his sister off. Understand this right here. When a man really want a woman, he does not make no excuses. No excuses. Cause then about oh how many times he been hurt oh my ex did this and just I can't I can't trust women no more girl ain't nothing but mind game and you been pointing to this man giving the man something I been giving the man sex showing the man you faithful lawyer showing the man you a rider nobody gonna ride with you like me you been doing all it and this man giving you an excuse girl that man don't want you when you are the woman of his dream when you the woman that when when he see he be like oh. Men know the first time. Now listen to me now, cause you know, some of y'all might say, "Well, that love, oh, that love, they, they ain't nothing but love." Listen to me. Men get turned on by what we see, and if I if I really, I can go in the Bible and prove it to you. I try not to be so you know spiritual, but if you look at the story of Jacob and Rachel. When Jacob saw Rachel, he knew right then he, he fell in love with Rachel. The first time he saw Rachel, read the, read the scripture. Read the scripture. Um, I forgot, it's in the book of Genesis, I forgot the, um, the exact chapter, but Google it, Jacob and Rachel. And you understand it here. The first time Jacob saw Rachel, he knew right then he, he fell in love with her. He said, I, I, I want to marry her. And, and he was working for her, 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 her father, her daddy, his uncle Laban. And back in the back, back in the Bible days, they was allowed to marry their cousins and stuff like that. So he told his uncle Laban, Uncle Laban said, "You've been working for me for seven years. What can I do to pay you?" He said, "I want to marry your daughter Rachel." So he said, "All right." So he worked seven years, but Laban. Gave him Leah. Leah was not the attractive one. So he said, man, you tricked me, man. I, 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 told, I told you I want Rachel. The daddy, Laban said, well, I got to get the older daughter away first because it's custom that the older daughter get married for the younger daughter. So if you want Rachel, work seven more years. So he worked seven years. So 14 years for Rachel. Understand me? Understand this right here. So when a man want a woman, he do what he got to do to get a woman. He don't make no excuses. Well, you, 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 no, uh, ain't no excuses. When a man want a woman, he will do what it takes to get that woman. Because you know why? When he first saw Rachel, she was gorgeous. The Bible tells you she was like, she, she had a, she was, she was fine. She was bad. She, that was the woman of his dreams. You understand me? Understand me now? Listen to me now, because some of y'all 
Get upset with this here. Now, a real good man, a godly man like me, your body, your physical appearance is what's going to get my attention. That's going to make me approach you. But your character is, is going to keep my attention. It's going to keep me. Your character is what's what, what going to attract me. You understand me? Because every man got his own idea of what type of woman he wants. Like, for example, if I meet, the, uh, if I was a single man, and if I meet a woman that's beautiful and gorgeous and fine and all that right there, then once I have one or two conversations with her, if I know her personality is what I like, sweet, soft-spoken, feminine, that's just me. She know how to speak her mind, and she can put you in your place and, 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 and maintain her character. That kind of woman I like, she ain't scared to speak her mind, but she know how to speak her mind and maintain her character. Sweet, soft-spoken, feminine. Once I find out she, her personality match her physical, her physical appearance, oh, I'm a wife that. I'm a wife that. Understand me? That's how men operate. If he is ready to get married, if he want to get married, trust me, he does not make no excuses. He does not care about what his ex did. Listen, I don't care about how many times he's been cheated on, none of that stuff. The men that tell y'all that, ladies, they just making excuses to keep on getting your body, wasting your time, because they don't, because they don't want to let you go because they got low self-esteem and they're insecure. So their self-esteem is the rod around you running behind them. Understand this here. So when the man stop calling you, when the man stop texting you, when the man making excuses, he does not want you. And one thing I learned from my man Steve Harvey, don't never let a man tell you twice he don't want you. If he tell you one time he don't want you, you ain't going to change his mind. If he show you one time he don't want you. For an example, if you if you with a man, you trying to get affection with that man, you trying to touch his arm or uh, hold, it, uh, hold it around his neck and he push you away, girl, put on your track shoes and run. He does not want you. And you know why he do that? Because you're not his type. You're not the one that make him go, ooh, Jesus. You're not the one that do that. That's why he pushing you away. Understand this. Is, stop loving somebody who does not love you. Stop thinking that I can change this man to make him love me. Get what? God don't change nobody. God don't make nobody love him. Because why? God gave everybody a free will. That's why in the word it say, choose you. I set for you life and death. Choose life so you may live. And it also say, choose you this day who you're going to serve. God give us choices. He told us to choose to serve him. He don't make us serve him. You trying to do something that God don't do? You trying to make somebody love you by loving them harder. Listen to me. Loving the person harder, a man harder who does not want you, is not going to make that man change. All you're doing is wasting your time. And one thing you cannot get back in life is time. You're wasting your time trying to love this man and make him Make him change his mind and fall in love with you. It's not going to work. Sus, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Cut your losses. Move on. He is not the one. Understand this right here. He is not the one. So listen to me. When the man wants you, you're going to see these things. You're going to see these things. He already know in his head. I gave y'all the secret how men operate how we do. I'm a man. I know what I'm talking about. When I when a, when a man first see a woman, he know right then and there whether or not that's his wife. You understand me? If you the woman of his dream, if you if you make his heart beat fast, he, he trust me, trust me. Understand that right there. Don't listen to all these mind game and all these oh I I, I, I my my ex and uh, oh I've been hurt so much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't give y'all the secret, ladies. That's the secret. Men know when they first see you. And we'll put our homeboys in check. Hey, that's my wife there. Ah, oh, man, you saw. I don't care. Say what you want to say, boy. That's my wife. You understand me? That's my wife. He'll put a mama in check. Mama, that's my wife. 
sister, you gonna have to respect my wife. If you gotta fight fight against his mama, his sister, girl, that, that man ain't, he ain't for you. You're not the woman of his dream. You're not the one that make him go, ooh, 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 ah. You understand me? Every man got his type. No matter what shape, what size you wear, every, you look good to somebody. Somebody out there wants to look at you and be like, man, I want that. I want that. That's my wife there. And once that man meets you, if he's, a, if he's a good man with the right intentions, and once he see your personality match your looks, then six months, he's going to have a ring on your finger. Ain't no excuses about his ex. I don't care how many times he's been cheated on. You understand me? Start letting these men play mind games on y'all. All they doing is playing mind games. And they can be paying your bills. They can be giving you a pay for the date. And then you think, well, he, he spent some more money on me. But then again, he inconsistent. He's telling me about his ex, his past, and this and that and the other. Men spend money on women sometimes just to impress you, to keep you. That's it. Just to keep you because they don't want you to move on. They want you to stay right there, running behind. They love the chase. Men in this day and age, they love the chase. They love to see women chasing and running behind them, calling and calling and calling. So they'll, they'll pay and do the decision to make you think. But actions. Action speaks louder than words, which action is consistency. Calling and texting you consistency and not making no excuses. And your relationship is going to make progress. It's going to grow. That's how you know a man wants you or not. But if you hear excuses, if you see inconsistency, if his mama controlling the relationship, his sister, or his homeboy, and all this here, go on, go on with your life. Go on with your life. Understand that right here. You're a queen. You're a queen. There's a man out there for you. There's a man out there that want you. But some of y'all waste time with the wrong man. And every time you do that right there, you just belong in the time for you to meet the right man. Hey, the Coach Rod, God bless you.